in the previous IPM tech question, very old, of course, but there's a good concept involved. So that's why I'm solving. A body dropped from the top of a tower falls through 40 meters during the last two seconds of its journey. Then what is the height of the tower is? Let us try to understand what he is saying. A body is dropped. That means its initial velocity equal to zero. From the top of the tower in such a way that in the last two seconds it has covered a distance of 40 meters. Then what is the total journey from height? What is the height from which it is falling, right? So let us assume let total time of journey is t seconds. So in the total t seconds, let the height it covers is equal to h. Then h in the total time is half g t square. Then in all the time other than this last two seconds, that is t minus two seconds, how much height it covers? t minus two is half g t minus two whole square. So how can I get this value? If you look carefully, total height covered is this from here to here, h. Height covered in all the time other than last two seconds is this small part. So how can I get this part? It is obvious that. How can I get the last part, right? Height that it covers in last two seconds is height in total time. That is this value minus height in this t minus 2 seconds then i will get this time automatically right i know the height in total t seconds i know the height in t minus 2 seconds and this difference is given for you as 40 meters so let's take the data and try to solve the problem yeah 40 equal to height in t seconds means total time is half g t square minus this value half g t minus 2 whole square. So how much is this? Half g t square minus half g of a minus b whole square. a square plus b square minus 2ab. Yeah, let's simplify this. Half g t square minus half g t square with this first term. Second term is minus half g into 4 last term is minus of minus plus half g into 4p that is equal to 40 half g t square and half g t square will get cancelled 40 equal to 4g by 2 of course there is a minus minus 4g by 2 plus g by 2 of 4p minus 4 g value is 10 into 2 plus g value is 10 into 40 equal to 40. So 40 equal to minus 40 by 2 is minus 20 plus 5 into 4 is 20 into t. 40 on this side becomes plus that is 60 equal to 20 into t. So t equal to 3 seconds. So I got the first thing. That what is the time of the flight t equal to 3 seconds. Once you figure the time of the flight, finding total height shall be an easy task. It's a freely falling half g t square. Half g is 10, t square is 3 square. Half 10 into 9, 90 by 2. That is equal to 45 meters. That's the answer for the problem. So to solve this problem, we have, we have implanted, we have used a beautiful concept. What is that beautiful concept is? Time taken to cover the uh, I mean distance that it has covered in the last two seconds is total distance that it has covered in the total time 
minus distance it has covered in all the time other than that two seconds. I have just used that concept and solved the problem. That's it. Thank you. Thank you for watching.